Hey folks, this IOE Thrower back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Archetype. He is in his Tiger 2. That's a tier 8 game on Muravanka. And apparently we're having trouble at the starting line. You know, I'd almost think you guys have done tanks before and then you go and do something like this. And I just wonder if you guys practiced in like a parking lot where, you know, you didn't move. And everybody kind of moved around <laughs> you. Oh, Lord. Sometimes these games get off to an interesting start. Though, I must say, I'm enjoying the decals on the side of the tank. You do realize it is Christmas and not Halloween, right? Okay, um... Enough with the jokes. Let's get into the actual game. Um... I feel like I need to say something about the channel, but I don't remember what it was, so, uh, well, <laughs> can't be that important, right? Uh, he spots well. To call it a tank destroyer would be a bit of an oversight. It's technically a tank destroyer, but more likely it's launched right now. It's about to die. <laughs> Sitting out in the open, where a Tiger 2 can just pull up and, and take pot shots at you. It's what I like to call lunch. There goes a bomb tier tank sure who was in a bad spot. <laughs> I, you know, all in all, that wouldn't have been a bad location if he had remained camo. But as soon as he was detected in that unfortunate location, he was lunch. Like, they, he couldn't get away, he couldn't do anything. Um, and because we put so many tanks on this side of the map, we have just walked through their team over here. Now, unfortunately, this means that they're probably walking through our team over on the other side of the map as they jump into the cap circle. Now, with luck, our IS over there won't sit around and just die as the flood of enemy tanks swarms over top of him. But you never know, he might. Sorry about the yawning. I don't know why I'm suddenly yawning. I wasn't yawning up until I started this recording, and then it's like my body's like, since you're sitting down now. <laughs> Oh look! Another enemy tank destroyer, also in a horrible location. I don't know exactly where that dude is, is but he, if he's in that direction, which obviously he is because that's where he shot us from, it's not a good spot when we're this far pushed up. Um, and the worst part is, it's not like he's in a mobile tank. It's not like, you know, he went to that location off the bat and he's just like, no, I can't move now. That thing is pretty quick if it wants to be. And as soon as he realized that we were pushing through the flank, he needed to vacate that location and fall back to somewhere around here where he could have done the same job, except he would have lived a lot longer. Um, though he's living a lot longer than he ought to have. I, I expected him to be dead a long time ago. Apparently he hasn't even been touched yet. Um, well, now he's been touched. <laughs> as we pull into cover. The fact that is that we have to kill him for some... Un I don't a noble reason. Um, our team should have eviscerated him a long time ago. Our tower should have dropped shells on him a long time ago. But unfortunately, apparently, they just ignored him. And so, instead of taking shots at targets that are over near the cap, tar targets that are, you know, probably should be a priority, we have to come back and kill this guy because our team... I don't know what they're doing, but obviously... They're not doing anything intelligent or remotely towards, you know, helping us win the game. STRV is in a great location over there. Can't see him. He's probably behind one of those bushes. And he's just taking pot shots every time he thinks he has an opening. Uh, so far, he's hit us. Up. I don't know actually how many times he's hit us, but I'm sure he says at least once, probably twice. Uh, he's bottom tier, so he's actually doing really well considering the fact that Everyone else at uh, bottom tier has been wiped out so far. This, uh... Ooh, we took his gun out. Most likely, we just took his gun out. Uh, you know, it's possible he could fix it. Blind fire. Um, I don't know if that connected, obviously. But, um, if it did... It, um, I don't know. I think most likely that would have had to be an HE shell. Actually, if you fire an HE shell, that probably would have just uh, screwed him right up. Or, you can just hit him with an AP shell. 
through the side of the tank and <laughs> make his day bad. Yep, there we go. Now, knowing they have 43 seconds, maybe should have just been proceeding towards the cap. But I guess he figures he's got enough teammates in the area. One of them should be able to do something. That's not necessarily the case. By the way, this SCRV is still ahead of us. He's actually been staying ahead of us most of the time. I mean, now he's going to die because he's, you know, in a crossfire as a bottom tier tank. But that guy's been doing really well. He deserves some props. Um, not only has he stuck around in a game where everyone else has died, he's doing so effectively, and he was continuing to, to try and win the game for his team, even though his team was utterly garbage that game. Nice job aiming for the weak point. Does, in fact, take it the IS-2. And now Archetype is... Well, they're going to go hunt down this FE. FE isn't particularly fast, um... So they can try and hunt it down. Like, obviously, a Tiger 2 is never going to catch it. Or he could just sit in the cap. It looks like he, in fact, is going to... I don't know what he's going <laughs> to... I don't know. I can't tell. I can't... Well, apparently, the FE is going to fight back. As it takes out our E8. Um, I'm guessing the E8 was on pretty low health and just sat out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Sitting out in the open thing. Uh, Effie has realized he can't kill us, so he wants to kill one of our teammates. His ammo must have been damaged or something, because he's not firing that gun nearly as fast as he needs to be if he's going to fight his way out of this situation. Uh, he's about to be dead. That tank definitely could have taken the situation and turned it in its favor, um, but he, he just kept sitting in weird spots, not firing at anything. <laughs> I mean, you're going to fire standard ammo at a Tiger. You're going to have to hit something important. Um, like, you know, though from here there wasn't much you can hit. He, he could have tried for the face of our thing. That wouldn't have done much. I don't think he could have seen the lower glacis. And other than that, it would have been a polar shot. That's not where he was aiming. He apparently was trying to hit this uh, machine gun port, which I, I'm not 100% certain is, is a weakness. Um, it's been a long time since I looked at the Tiger II armor model, but I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump over and see what we got for this game. <laughs> yeah, I was right. There is no weak spot over here on the Tiger II. This is the Tiger II armor model. The machine gun port is there. It looks like it's a weak spot. It's it's not it's not a weak spot. Um. So, in fact, when the Tiger 2 is looking at you like this... Oh, come on. Let's, let's get that gun facing the right direction. Um, the only thing you're going to be able to shoot at is that Capola. Everything else is just going to ricochet off. Uh, I guess it's possible you could pen the front of the turret, but it's unlikely. You're going to ricochet off the sides, and it's a small chance you go through the front. But it's not a chance I would take. Either front plate or that Capoa. The Capoa is the most likely to go through. I mean, assuming you can hit it. And the FE actually has a pretty laser-like gun. So if he could have managed to you know, focus a little bit, he could have probably hit our Capoa. And the only way I needed to hit it twice uh, in order to kill us. So it's possible, assuming he could have focused in and, and just pulled the trigger. He possibly could have taken us out that game. We got Pascucci's though, which is nice, but let's start from the beginning. As always, first class, hand of God, bruiser, duelist, fire for effect, and shellproof uh, ribbons, I guess? They're not really metal, so let's go with ribbons. Are, are nice and cool. Uh, four bonds for that. That's, I assume, from the high caliber award. He also gets the steel and the top gun. Well done. Um, Wait, okay, there was a Tiger 2 in that game? That wasn't on our team? I didn't actually notice that. <laughs> Oops. I pay attention, I swear, guys. Uh, it's funny that the, the two people you put the most shots into were the FV and the Udits, Um, Even though, like, they were, like, not really the main targets of the game. They weren't anywhere really <laughs> in our way. <laughs> and the Udits was, of course... The one we had to kill in order to continue on in the game. And the FE was just the last one alive. 
There was so many friendlies around when these guys were getting shot by us. It's kind of weird that we got the most shots into them and did the most damage to them. Um, but it's the way your team works sometimes. Of course, then you understand why, you know, we got so much damage done. Because apparently, most of the team did nothing. Was that a <laughs> dire two? T34, A5, and a P43 doing actually more than a thousand damage. The rest of the team just like, ugh, you know. I don't know what they're doing. I guess they're licking the windows, maybe? I can't, I can't imagine anything else. Obviously, premium would have been nicer, but even making money in, in a standard game is quite nice with a, uh, a rigor account. Well done, sir. Nice chunk of experience. And 1600 damage blocked by armor. Ooh, not bad at all. Thank you so much for saying this in. This was a joy to watch, um, architect. Archetype, sorry. And, um, thank you for making me go look up the Tiger 2 armor model again. That was actually fun to do. So, we'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching, and, um, I'll see you next time. This IOE throughout.